Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Bakin Line. My name is Aarti and in this video we will be making shortbread strawberry cake. So shortbread as the name says is basically a texture which is crumbly, very soft. So there is a way of making it and in this video I'll explain everything step by step. Also strawberries are in season and we do not make anything using strawberry and not going to happen on this channel here. So let's just dive into the recipe quick shot and start making strawberry shortcake. So the first step into this recipe is making the shortbread cake. Here in a clean bowl I am adding 2 cups of all purpose flour which is 260 grams, half teaspoon of salt and one and a half tablespoon of baking powder. So we'll be adding baking powder, not baking soda. Give everything a very rough mix using spoon. If you have a sifter, you can sift it also. So here I have taken 100 grams of cold butter. So the first step of making a shortcake is basic add hard butter. So what you can do is keep your butter in the freezer section for roughly half an hour and you will have a perfect texture as per your requirement. So you can grate the butter like I'm doing is a trick you can use otherwise you can chop your butter into smaller pieces and add it to the flour. So here I'm grating my butter just like I grate cheese. There is no much difference into it. It's just that you'll have a better texture and while mixing your flour into the butter it will make it easy for you. The process will be very easy for you. Now with very clean hands mix everything into the flour. So the what we actually trying to achieve here is that your flour should be coated with the butter. So this way when we add uh, liquid into the flour, it, the gluten will not activate and the crumbly texture which we are desiring right now will be maintained. So next we will be adding liquid ingredient into the flour. So here I have half cup of cold buttermilk. So basically I made a buttermilk using half cup of uh, room temperature milk and a 2 teaspoon of vinegar and then kept it into the fridge for half an hour. Rest other ingredients are half cup of milk and half teaspoon of vanilla essence here. So overall this recipe is eggless also. Now with a spoon or a fork or if you want to use your hand also just mix everything. Also make sure you should be very uh, gentle here because again and again I am saying that uh, we do not want gluten to be activated here so we'll have to be very patient while doing this step so basically all your dry bit should be coated with the liquid and then you're done there is no kneading required once done keep this in the fridge again for half an hour to an hour or freezer section if it is hot for you in your area so here we actually relaxing the dough and relaxing the gluten also. So let's move to the second step which is making the strawberry sauce. So for this strawberry sauce well, there is no cooking needed. So I have taken 400 grams of uh, strawberries and I just washed them and cleaned them properly and using a knife cut them into smaller pieces just like this. Now add all your uh, strawberries in a big bowl and to make the sauce you need to add 3 tablespoon of uh, sugar and half teaspoon of salt. Mix everything well and set this in the fridge uh, till you need it. Now the last element of this cake is uh, whipping cream. So here I have taken half cup of cold whipping cream and as you can see my bowl is also chilled and uh, the attachment I am using are also chilled. So this way uh, whipping your cream will be very easy. Once the cream has been whipped keep this again in the fridge until we need it. And uh, now let's talk about the short cake again. So this is our cold and relaxed dough. Now what we need to do is dust your surface with a lot of flour and uh, press 
the toe against the surface using your hand or if you have a rolling pin you can use that also it's a very soft toe so i'm not using any rolling pin today you do not have to knead the dough so that is why we are uh, folding the dough half and then press it pressing it again and then we'll fold it again into a third or a half as per your choice do it very slow do, do not uh, panic here and do not speed up otherwise gluten will be activated we are just trying to avoid that situation here and uh, this kind of fold two to three time of fold is enough so last when you're done with the dough and you see that your dough has got the required texture here uh, and the height of uh, the dough should be around 1 inch or 1 and a half inch not more than that now to cut out the sh uh, short cake here i'm using 2 and a half to 3 inch of uh, round cutter dip the cutter into dry flour and then cut it out so at a time i'm able to cut out four short bread cakes so let me just show you the layers we are talking about because of this folding and using a lot of butter into the recipe now with the remaining dough mix the dough again and uh, press it again and using the cutter cut out as many cakes as you can now at a time in the baking sheet i am baking five shortbread cakes so be so before baking apply some milk on top and uh, some granulated sugar also so bake the cakes at 200 degree celsius in a preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes and this is how our strawberry juice will look like now for the assembly cut the cake into half just like this apply some whipped cream some strawberry sauce and then place the second layer of the cake and then repeat the step and this way your shortbread cake is ready i hope you like this recipe is very seasonal just try and make it you do not need any special equipment when you do please to share the images over instagram or facebook drill is the same here uh, like comment and share and i'll be back again with one more recipe next week thank you so much for watching the video take care bye everyone